Last year, I was driving home with my father when we noticed four to five missed calls from my grandfather. Immediately, we became worried and called him back. He told us a story. He had just received a text message from someone claiming to be a family member, asking him to wire $2,000 to a bank account, saying that it was an emergency. My grandfather was fully ready to send the money, but right before clicking send, my grandmother suggested that he check with that family member one final time. Guess what? When my grandfather reached out, that family member denied sending any such text to my grandfather. My grandfather was seconds away from falling victim to a digital trap, a trap so vicious that even the most vigilant eye might have missed it. My grandfather was so close to falling victim to a phishing scam, and in that moment, I realized how easily he could have fallen for that trap, and how I didn't even know about it. I got home that day, sat at my computer, and instantly started researching. And what I found shocked me. Because my grandfather was one of the most cautious and careful people that I knew, especially when it came to his finances. So, if he was about to send $2,000 randomly without checking multiple times, Something was wrong, not with him, but with the world that we live in. According to the Federal Trade Commission, it is estimated that the cost of fraud for older adults is over $60 billion. To put that into perspective, that's over $117,000 per minute. According to the FBI, it is estimated that the cost of digital fraud is over $3.4 billion. And that number is only going to continue to rise exponentially. But this isn't just data. These are real people. Older adults in New Jersey losing $2 million to a digital scam a 77-year-old widow losing $661,000 to a common tech support scam, an older adult who fell in love with a fraudster online only to lose all of his life savings. They're not just losing money or personal information, they're losing confidence, trust, dignity, and oftentimes, they stop using the very same technology that could help them video call their grandchildren, text their friends, or discover new hobbies. When I was younger, we had technology classes in school where we learned about cybersecurity and how to not talk to strangers online or think before you click. In fact, I probably learned how to stay safe online before I ever learned how to ride a bike without training wheels. Adults in modern workplaces are trained on cybersecurity, how to protect their data, or how to identify phishing emails. But let's take this into perspective. Technology really only became prevalent around 20 years ago, and it is constantly evolving. For example, ChatGPT didn't even exist a few years ago. And now, AI is everywhere, opening new doors, but also creating new threats. We can't hold it against the older generations that they are unaware of the technology and the risks associated with it. They were a part of a generation where they didn't learn about this in school. They weren't warned about this in their workplace. They had to adapt to a technical world and had to learn to accept it without the proper training. In a world where we are often rushing forward, focusing on teaching the next generation to be cyber smart, we must not forget about those who came before us, our parents, grandparents, any family. They helped build the world that we live in, but they never got the manual for the new digital one. It's time to stand beside them, protect them, and remind them that they are not alone. So here's a truth and a message that we need to relate to them. Technology doesn't have to be intimidating. In fact, it can be simple. 
It can be fun and it can open a whole new world of opportunity if we show the right steps with kindness and support. Imagine if we stood beside our elder community and empowered them rather than judged them. We can use the tools that we have been given today, such as AI, and help them not just survive but thrive in this digital world. We can educate them with compassion. We can help build digital bridges rather than digital barriers. We need to use AI to create personalized learning systems for older adults and help turn complex terminology into clear and succinct ideas. Think of it as a digital coach that is helping them along the way. But most importantly, what these older adults need, they need support. They need accessible training. They need patience. And they need a reminder that they are not alone and that there is a whole community that is going to back them up. And I know this is possible because I have done it. I have used AI to help older adults understand technology and it has led to positive results. It did make a difference. It made them feel like they were less alone. I also presented these ideas at different retirement com communities and they were overwhelmed with the fact that their thoughts were being heard and that their concerns were being addressed. They felt more confident in navigating technology. They are gaining control of something that they were once scared of, and that is powerful. And here's why this is important. Because if older adults feel more confident in navigating technology, they are going to be able to text their friends without worrying about the next scam. They are going to be able to keep up with what their family is doing miles away without worrying about the next phishing email. They are going to be able to watch funny videos, listen to music from any culture, and rediscover joy. We aren't just protecting them from scams. We are giving them access to a world of connection and of freedom. So here's what I hope to leave with you today. As family, as people, and as citizens of this brand new digital age, let's start a new legacy. Let's create a future where no one is left behind. Let's not just use AI to innovate, but also to include. Let's start a digital revolution and make the internet a safer, kinder, and more empowering place for everyone, especially for the older adults who have worked so hard to help build the world that we now live in.